So for this problem, we're going to be using this equation right here. R is equal to R naught times one plus alpha times T minus T naught. Now let's also begin this question by labeling all of the given information. So the first resistance is 200 ohms and we'll denote that with R sub one. The second resistance will be 253.8 ohms. We'll denote that with R2. The alpha in this case for platinum will be 3.92 times 10 to the negative third power, one over degree Celsius. The initial temperature that we're given is 20 degrees Celsius. Now we need to first find R naught and eventually we need to find the temperature, the melting temperature for potassium. So to find the melting point, we need to know the resistance of the thermometer at the reference temperature. So using the resistance at zero degrees Celsius, we'll get this right here. So with this formula right here, we'll rearrange and solve for R naught. And using the given information here with R sub one being 200 ohms, and we know our alpha, this T right here will be the reference temperature, which will be zero degrees Celsius. And our T naught is 20 degrees Celsius. So this gives us an R naught of 217 ohms. The next step is to find the temperature, the melting point. So now that we know what R naught is, there's a little reminder, we'll go ahead and solve once more. Instead of doing R sub one, we'll have R sub two is equal to R naught times one plus alpha times T minus T naught. Now this time we'll rearrange and solve for the temperature. And we'll get that the temperature is equal to R sub two minus R naught divided by alpha times R naught plus the initial temperature. So we'll plug in all the given information and we get that this term right here will come out to be 43.26 and we'll add that on to 20. We get that the melting point temperature for potassium will be 63.26 degrees Celsius.